Of course, when that sting comes on, you know, we're talking about uh, Africa Month related stories. Now, the Pan African Parliament Southern African Region Caucus is on a blitz campaign to the entire African continent to campaign for the Pan African Parliament presidency. The members of parliament are crisscrossing the continent to mobilize votes for their candidate, Honorable Chief Fortune. Charumbira, uh, Honorable Charumbira has been endorsed by the region last weekend at the Senton Convention Center in Johannesburg. To unpack the story for us, we're joined via Zoom by Pan African Parliament Deputy Chair for Education, uh, the Education Committee, Honorable Stas Mate. She's also a SADC member uh, and is in Johannesburg. A very good day to you, uh, Honorable Mate, and thank you so much for making the time to talk to us. Thank you very much. Um, we are indeed uh, on a place of uh, campaign uh, across the continent mm -hmm. uh, as Southern African caucus after having agreed on the candidature of Chief Fortune Zephania Charumbira, uh, a well-experienced Pan-African member and uh, indeed in his own right a chief in his country and a chief not only being a name but he, uh, it is what he is in the country he is in in the leadership of chiefs he is the chief uh, president of chief councils in zimbabwe what fruits has uh, this blitz campaign uh, uh, obtained? We're told that the North Africa Regional Caucus has also endorsed him. Can you confirm this for us? Yes, the, the, the Southern Caucus is across the continent campaigning in groups. As, as per our agreement last week, we had to make some groups that included all countries that are in the, in the Southern region. Some are going as far as the Liberia, all the caucuses, uh, Southern African, I mean, Eastern caucuses, uh, Western caucuses, and Central caucuses are being visited by a group of Southern African uh, members of parliament lobbying for the campaign, lobbying for the vote of uh, Chief Charumbira as the Southern caucus uh, uh, president candidate. So you cannot at this stage confirm if the Northern Africa Regional Caucus has endorsed him? Yes, at this stage I can confirm that uh, the Northern Africa has uh, endorsed him because m m we have approached uh, quite a number of countries in the Northern uh, Africa and uh, indeed in some other uh, caucuses. We have penetrated, our members have penetrated, uh, remember in the members that are penetrating for the lobbying, we also have our Speaker of Zimbabwe Parliament, uh, Advocate Advocate Jacob Mudenda, who is also part of the teams that are going across the continent and uh, lobbying for Chief Fortune Charumbira for the Southern Region Caucus. Just give us a sense, why is the SADC region so eager to have Honorable uh, Charumbira as the Pan-African Parliament President? What difference will he bring to the continental discourse? Chief Fortune Charumbira, as I've said before, he is a, a well-experienced uh, uh, PAP member. He has been into PAP since it, its inception. He has been in the Peru for two terms, though not a president. He has seen what uh, is right and what is wrong, and he is in the right position now to correct uh, whatever has not been going right because we had no good 
um, relations with our AU uh, for most of the time. Now we are saying as Pan-African Parliament, we want to go the AU song. We want to uh, make sure the relationships between ourselves and the AU are so swift and uh, we do according to the policies of AU uh, so that whenever we pass resolutions here, the AU just take in place because we will be going their way. We are a child of the AU as Pan-African Parliament. So are you able to give us a sense of responses you're getting from the diff different countries you've been canvassing? Of course, you, you're not uh, canvassing them individually, you're canvassing them as regions. But uh, is, there, is there a buy-in in terms of having uh, the Honourable as the next president of the Pan-African Parliament? Yeah, we have good responses to from uh, uh, other uh, countries. We have very good responses. Uh, I can quote one of the countries, uh, Uganda, but there are so many of them. They are all promising that uh, indeed, especially on the north, that we are basing on the uh, rotational system, which was passed by the rules committee uh, in PAP, that countries must rotate so that so that even those, I mean, not countries as such, but regions must rotate so that even those regions with it very few countries as compared to big regions like Westerns and Central, those should also get the chance of presidential leadership. So because of that, that was sending out what and it was passed by the rules committee here in, in February. All countries are seeing the uh, importance of that because the, the northern region has very few countries as compared to us, the southern, vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis the western and the eastern. So if we continue voting without considering the, the rotational system, it will be at the end of it all, it will sound as if these, these regions with these small countries have no capacity to lead. So hence, everybody as a member of parliament here in PAP has the equal capacity to lead the Pan-African parliament. So all countries have been supporting us, including some countries in the Western region and in the Eastern, because they also see the importance of following up the rotation system, which is a resolution from the AU as well, so that we give all regions equal chance, equal importance of being the leadership in the Pan-African Parliament. So we're receiving very good responses just across the continent. The teams that are out are falling back to the uh, 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 command center here in Jobek, Midrand, that they are getting very good welcome and uh, they are being promised that Chief Charumbira may uh, take this presidency of PAP. You're mentioning a very important point, the separation of the northern region with the rest of the continent, but that's a conversation for another day. Just in terms of COVID-19, focus and financial resources have been reprioritized and in the past year not much has been said about the Pan-African Parliament. If you were to tell our viewers about the importance of this legislative body and why it's important to monitor its movements, what would you say? I have very little to say on that besides to say we are as a, a, a Pan-African parliament also from the southern region worried about the COVID-19 spread, uh, especially really what is happening in India right now. We are very much concerned as well as Pan-African Parliament in the southern region. And as we come here to gather next week, we are really advised and we will really follow the WHO rules that will assist us keep uh, safe from COVID-19 and uh, we appreciate what our governments, especially in the southern region, have been doing to try and curb the spread of COVID-19 uh, across its people. 
And just in terms of uh, educating people who are watching now about the importance and relevance of the Pan-African Parliament, uh, what would you say? Yes, the Pan-African Parliament is very is a very important body that puts a most countries together that creates a, a relationships uh, from country to country and indeed from region to region it also assists in coming up the rules that will make all countries be relatives all countries should be relatives everyone from each region to another region should feel is at home with a neighboring country of another region at the same time pan-african parliament monitors the governance within its member countries wherever there would be a problem wherever there is a problem pan-african parliament uh, just gets into that problem and get solutions uh, we are worried about the education uh, in, in our part within our uh, uh, parliament members we are worried about the uh, tb diseases we are also worried about the covid 19 we haven't even forgotten get being worried about the hiv we are worried about everything and uh, we are going through all those things in our uh, caucus uh, uh, committee meetings uh, each time and uh, this is very important to have it uh, and respect its appearance as well as it works hand in glove with the au which is our, our mother so what kind of conversations are taking place at the moment especially uh, the one big story at the moment in southern africa is the insurgency in mozambique what kind of conversations taking place around this last week in our caucus as southern region <laughs> to be uh, exemplar we had this as a subject as in uh, in our in, in in our in our caucus in southern region we spoke so much about what's happening in mozambique and uh, we are going to issue a statement when we meet next week uh, in our plenary uh, stay await for the statement that we're going to issue uh, with all the hope that the really the, we are going to be having a new leadership that is sensitive to the people, the leadership of Chief Fortune Zephania Charumbira. Uh, I know a statement will be issued uh, to show exactly how much as Pan-African Parliament we are worried about what is happening in Mozambique and they were really going to show out by that statement that is going to be issued out by the new president i really assume he is will con going to be a new president by next week of pap so just to take us back to that conversation about the candidacy of chief charumbira uh, how far is that process uh, what level of certainty exists in terms of him assuming the position of president of the pan-african parliament are you able to tell us uh, if there are other contenders in the other regions? Yeah, I can only tell you about um, how, as a region, we feel he will be uh, the, the president of Pan-African Parliament. And uh, I can also really confirm there are other contestants from other regions, but I will not want to speak uh, their names here because uh, that's not my role to bother about any other person who is contesting my candidate. I am here to speak uh, for my own candidate, uh, the candidate of this Southern African region, who is Chief Fortune Zephania Charumbira. Um, I know there are some other candidates. They are co campaigning the way they are campaigning. They are saying whatever they want to say. But ours is only to say for a true Pan African Parliament uh, that will walk the Africans' expectations, that will deliver Pan African Parliament resolutions to hate and uh, that will uh, see 
Africa United, working very well with the African Union, working its principles and the resolutions, putting people together, doing all what is expected of a Pan-African Parliament, being very gender sensitive. Well, I, I would not have done it if I don't mention uh, that my candidate is going to be gender sensitive. Indeed, I know there are, there are those that are campaigning, but they have all their own way. I'm talking about Chief Charumbira. Uh, even, I can even tell you he has worked for the... Uh, a lot for a lot of uh, organizations, uh, the World Bank, to mention a few, and he has done his expertise. And uh, I, I know he's going to show his expertise in his position as the president of the Pan African Parliament. Madam, forgive me, I'm not going to talk about any other who is contesting Chief Charumbira. I, I mean, my, uh, I'm, I cannot. I'm sorry, I'm not going to talk about them. When will the announcement of the new president be made? The name of the new president? I didn't get you well. When will the name of the new president be announced? The, maybe on the 31st of May, I think so. On the 31st of May or on the 1st of June. I'm not quite sure as of now because uh, when the members come, they will have to sit and agree on the processes and it is not about, as, about us as the southern region to to give all the, uh, 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 um, the, the uh, what or to give all what will take place on the day it's about the uh, plenary that will sit down agree then we start the processes of election and then the announcement of, of the elections date will be set on that very day just keep alert keep uh, waiting for the name yourselves we will play around said. us within those days We'll most certainly do so. Thank you so much for making the time to talk to us today. Honorable Mate is with the Pan-African Parliament, but most importantly with the Southern African Caucus, uh, which is, has endorsed uh, uh, Chief Charumbira uh, from Zimbabwe to be the next president of the Pan-African Parliament. And we'll be watching to see what the outcome of that contest will yield. You're watching the agenda. Let's.